you got to go by the Spirit. Because the men carry the seeds. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of these people that you think is black, in actuality, they, a lot of them are European. Like Frederick, Frederick Douglass. What color do you think Frederick Douglass is? Right. Frederick Douglass is a white man. Frederick Douglass' father is a white man. Frederick Douglass' mother is black. Okay? So, Nostradamus, no, there's a book out there called The Men That Saw Tomorrow, right? Now, Nostradamus got the spirit because Nostradamus was a Mexican. He got that from what? From, from uh, being a child of Ishka. When any time a brother needs to find what woman was good for him, if he's got a ring, they would go to the Mexican brothers because the Mexican, they're very, they know how to view the heavens and stuff. They're great builders. They build pyramids. When you go to Mexico, there's a lot of pyramids built by the Mexicans. Why do you think that they got a spirit of building buildings, man? Why do you think the white men have to hire the Mexican? Because they know the Mexican are great builders. What about these brothers say um, the Israelites didn't um, build any pyramids? Them, that the Israelites didn't build any pyramids? Right. Well, the, the Israelites built pyramids, but the first pyramid was built by, by, by Himotes. Okay? Himotep, the guy that um him, the guy that built for Himotep, I can't remember his name. He was um I can't remember the guy's name. But the first pyramid was built by Himotep. Okay? So the Israelite built a pyramid. Let's get Exodus 1 and 1. Israelite built pyramid, but the first pyramid was not built by Israelites. You see what I'm saying? It was built by um Himotep. Right. You see? Okay, Himotep was was the pharaoh of uh, 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 Himotep was the um, I can't remember his position, but he was the one that designed the first pyramid for uh, for Djoser, the 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 the, uh, the, the, um, the, the, um, the Egyptian uh, Caesar. They call him kings, which is pharaohs, which means house. But the uh, the, the first pyramid was built by by the Africans, not Israelites. Lions say Israel built a fair pyramid because Israelite was in captivity, captivity way after Joseph. Okay, Exodus 1 and 1. Read. Exodus chapter 1, verse 1. Now these are the names of the children of Israel right. mm -hmm. which came unto Egypt. Right. Every man and his household came with Jacob. Right. Reuben, mm -hmm. Simeon, right. Levi, uh -huh. and Judah. Right. Issachar, Zebulun. Right. And Benjamin. Right. Right. Dan. Right. And Natalia. Right. Dan. And Asher. See? All of them, all of the Israelite devils, see? Came to Egypt. Right? Go ahead. Verse 5. Right. And all the souls that came out right. of the loins of Jacob mm -hmm. were 70 souls. See? But Joseph was in Egypt already. Right. Uh huh. Jump to verse 7. Verse 7. And the children of Israel were fruitful. Right. And increased abundantly. Right. And multiplied. Right. And waxed exceedingly. Right. Mighty. Right. And the land was filled with them. See? In other words, they started to multiply and so forth. Right. Verse 8. Right. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt. Right. Which knew not Joseph. Right. So the new king that uh, knew not Joseph was the, was the Pharaoh, was the Egyptian Pharaoh. Right there. Verse 9. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Right. Uh -huh. Verse 10. Right. Come on. Let us deal wisely with them. Right. Uh -huh. Lest they multiply. Right. And it come to pass that when they're falling out in the war, right. they join also unto our enemies mm -hmm. and fight against us. Right. And so get them up out of the land. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Right. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters. Taskmaster. When you look up taskmaster, they show you that they were building pyramids, okay? For the Egyptian pharaohs. Go ahead. To afflict them. Right. Which is Rams in the second. Go ahead. With their burden. Mm -hmm. And they built for Pharaoh treasure city. See? Treasure city with a pyramid. See? Go ahead. Picked on. Right. And Ramsey. Right. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. See? Why? Because the, the spirit of the heavenly father was with the children of Israel. Go ahead. And grew. Mm -hmm. And they were grieved mm -hmm. because the of the children of Israel. Right. Uh-huh. 
verse 13. Right. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve the rigor. Right, right. In another word, hardcore slavery. Go ahead. And they made mm. their lives bitter with right. hard bondage. See, no, bitter, and, they, and they made their life bitter. That's why the Lord gave us the bitter herb for the Passover, right? The bitter herb symbolized the, the, the bitterness we went to uh, under the Egyptian pharaohs, Ramses the second. Okay, go ahead. In mortar mm -hmm. and in brick, right? And in all manner of service right. in the field, right? No, the only person was in captivity and in Egypt. They were free to do what they're doing with the Levites. Okay, the Levi was in slavery, but there was there was there was free. There was going around doing the priesthood. Okay, so the Pharaoh did not put any, any burden on the Levites. They fast on that. They do research. See what I'm saying? So the Pharaoh didn't put any burden on the Levi because the Levites knows the Pharaoh knows that the Levi they were priests. Okay, and the Pharaoh let the Israelite kept their nationality. The only race that did not let kept let the Israelite kept the nationality as a so-called European. Why do white men not teach black people that they're the children of Israel? Because they don't want you to know these things, see what I'm saying? So the Pharaohs knows that we were Israelite. The Assyrian, okay? Okay, the Syrian knows that. The, the, uh, the, 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 the East Indian, Elam, okay? And the, and, and the, the, and the king, and, and the, 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 the Elamite king, they know we're Israelite. They did not take away a nationality. The main one to take away our people's nationality was who? Was the so-called European. They make sure they lie to you, call you African Americans. Okay, read. All their service, right? Wherein they made them serve, right? Was with rigor, with rigor, hardcore. Now let's get Psalm one thirty-seven one. Okay, so now the Bible, the Bible explains about the condition of our people, right? Now we gotta go to a chapter now, which shows you that this thing happened to our people. Okay, which is twofold. Psalm one thirty-seven one. But the problem with our people, like I said, they don't know the history. You see? But because it's so dark out here, you know, there's many books I want to bring up, but it's, it's so small. We don't have enough light. But like in the summer, we got to bring back these books out, man. I'll show you a lot of things, a lot of history on of our people, huh? Huh? Hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah, come, come. Right. Say something for a second. Let me get it. So, you know, brother, if you're going into a lot of the history, this is what they don't show you. They don't show you this in the schools. Go to um, 1 Corinthians 3.19. How do you get that? They, don't, they ain't going to show you this in the schools. But what our job is what? To go into the spirit and show you things that connect with your heritage. That's our job. Understand? Because the wisdom of this world is not going to bring elevate you on a spiritual level when you read scripture. Okay? 1 Corinthians 3.19. Okay? You understand? So our job is to bring you up. Like, you know, you coming down now and you learning and you growing in spirit. You understand? Then eventually, you're going to do what we're doing and teach other brothers and sisters the truth according to the Bible and bring them out of the wisdom of this world. You know, this wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. So we go. 1 Corinthians 3.19. Right. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. See that? The wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Come on. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And that's what the Most High is doing. He's showing that the wisdom of this world is foolishness with him. It's foolishness according to the Holy Spirit. The music is foolishness. Everything under the, under the influence of the so-called white man is foolishness, and the Most High is confounding them in these last days. The Most High put the Spirit on us to what? To reveal the foolishness of the wise of this world. Reading it from the beginning. Uh, 1 Corinthians 3.19 mm -hmm. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Come on. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own crafting. That's what we're seeing now. We're seeing that the, the, the rulers of this world is being made to look like fools. They don't have a grip on how to run this system and this setup. They don't have a grip on that. But those of us who are in the Bible, we see that. We see that clear as day. You understand? But the foolish, Isaiah 33 and 6, but the foolish of this world, they're not going to see it. You understand? That's why the Most High says, what we're about to read here, that it's imperative that you come into the grace of the Most High. And that's through the spirit of what the Bible is saying. Read it. Isaiah 33 and 6. Come on. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. See, we're in unstable times. We're in economic, uh, unstable times. Social and spirituality, that's unstable. Everybody's just walking around aimlessly. 
Only thing that people do is get caught up in their feelings. They caught up in their feelings and they using that to get past their woes and their depression and what they're going through. But that's not going. That's not going to cut it. What's going to cut it? It's spirituality. What's written in the Holy Bible? Hold oh, on, read it again. Isaiah 33 and 6. Right. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. That's what we're in the rough times, and you need wisdom and knowledge of the Most High, because he can nine and four, to stabilize you in this last, these last days. You know, when you're in a car to get a smooth ride, you need to stabilize the ball, you need shocks to give you a smooth ride. We're in a, a time where you want to go through life smoothly, but you have to do it in the Holy Spirit. The money ain't going to do it. House is not going to do it. Your women, your men, that's not going to do it. What's going to do it? It's the Holy Spirit. Paul and read. Ezekiel 9, verse 4. Come on. And the Lord said unto him, Come on. Go through the midst of the city. Go through the midst of the city. Where we at? In the city. We had cities in the past. We have cities now. But the Lord said, go to the, through the midst of the city. The Lord is co commanding his prophets to go to the midst of the city. His prophets and servants. Come on. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Where you at? That's Jerusalem. The same what we did in the past. We're doing it right now. We're doing what the Bible says. It. Come on. And set a mark upon the forehead right. of the men that sigh and that cry. That mark is the truth, the Holy Spirit. The forehead is where your mind is at, but it's spiritual. So we're marking you right now with the Holy Spirit. And when we mark you, when you start, when we plant that seed in you, through the Spirit of the Most High, and He waters and it grows, the Most High's angels surround you and protect you when you read this chapter. So the Lord says, set a mark on the men that sigh and that cry. You're those brothers and sisters that sigh and cry. You're oppressed. You're the last high at first fire. You're killed. You're being killed every day. They got these chemtrails. Now, you know, I just, you know, you don't know what the hell you have now when you're sick. You got these chemtrails spreading flu. You got flu at its highest rate because they're poisoning us. They're poisoning us every day. Every day. And they're pushing that flu shot. They're pushing that. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not taking either. I'd rather die than take that before I take that. You got a lot of these kids being born with autism now because of those flu shots. And the food is terrible. They got all types of crazy stuff in the food. You know? But this this this, this, this flu thing, I don't know if you've been following the news, it's out of control now. It's totally out of control, man. Totally out of control. We don't know what the hell they doing to us. Read that again, brother. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto him, right. Go through the midst of the city. Go through the midst of the city. Come on. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Come on. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. Right. For all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that's what we doing. The brothers and sisters, they don't have nowhere to go. They don't have anywhere to go for the truth and for comfort and for stability and spirit. So what happened? The Lord sent us out here to set that mark of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations being done to them. Come on. Verse 5. Right. And to the others he said. Now the Lord said to the others. Come on. He said. Right. And my hearing. Right. Go ye after him. Right. Through the city. Right. And smite. And smite. These are the brothers and sisters who this is not for. Whenever you ready to remind them. You know what I'm saying? These are the brothers and sisters who this knowledge is not for. The Lord said, he's telling his angels, this is in the future, to go through the midst of the city, the midst of the city, and smite, come on. Let not your eyes spare. There ain't gonna be no uh, feelings and crying and, you know, you should give this one a break and that one a break and don't give this one a break. Let me just finish this up, all right? Yeah, yeah. come on. Neither have ye pity. Neither have ye pity. The angels ain't gonna have no pity in that day. They ain't gonna have no pity. Come on. Slay utterly old and young. It ain't gonna matter how old you are. Oh, he, she's an old lady. That's an old man. Yo, you should give him a break, brother. Hey, listen, the angels ain't gonna have no pity in that day. Come on. Both maids. Right? And little children. You mean in maids? Young women and little children. Even the children are gonna be slain. The Lord said in the judgment day, the blood that's gonna run through these streets is gonna be up to a horse's bridle. That's cause a lot of blood. Come on. And women, come on. but come not near any man right. upon whom 
is the mark. See? That upon whom is the mark? So is this mark going to come from your average church? Like a Creflo dollar? It's not going to come from an average church. The most High going to send men out here on the corners to preach this truth. And he's going to show the so-called Hispanics and so-called blacks that they're the real Jews. And it's the so-called whites who call themselves Jews, they're not Jews. And that Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, is a man of color, just like us. But the mark is for those who sigh in that cry. Well, um, we we were we was focused on, on the Mexican, right? Yeah, and the Puerto Rican, the, uh, the Dominicans. Now, the same book I'm telling you about is called the Gazette of the Old and New Testament, to which is added the natural history of the Bible, right? This is a scholar by the name of William Fleming, white man telling you that the 